And so Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can Papoonin not even die properly? What if they ask Bonnie to repay money? Hm. Huh? Die? Repay who? Meh. None of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then run away like coward? Yes, but... Man, man, not wanting people excuses of Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclist Sea, in current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. Thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Where? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a Titan of some kind. A Titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps? Ania? Gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. Grumps! Mm, it is good to see you uninjured, Rex. How awful. Hold on. I should have some herbs. You are kind, but. No amount of human medicine would suffice. But... Weep not, my boy. This is my fate. I... I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <gasps> The days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Gramps. Gramps.
I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Rex. Grams. Rex. your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean pay rent? Oh, miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're OK, Grants. Oh, shit. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh-ho! Now this makes a nice change. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. Feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. My lady, leave this to me. I'm not just going to abandon you, Zuma. What? We're here to help. Mia. Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now's our chance. Let's attack. All right, then! So why are you guys even... Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way... What happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent, my lady. Sure, lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. 
Dromak said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, they'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <sighs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. Right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormot Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormot, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotty? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going.
Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful view. Spectacular indeed. Yeah, this is great. Especially after slumming it on Gramps' back for so long. <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in Gaunt. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? Of course. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. Your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Nia? Right, let's go. So, this is Torogoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Nia? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an inn. Then I'm out of here. likeness, to say the least. Oi, do you see some there? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. <laughs> Fie! Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility. For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall! Come now! Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Who will look after us? Please! I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be, become a driver... Out of the way, pipsqueak! Go! All right! Come on, Blade boy -oh. Show me what you got! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. Oh ho! Old bark and no bite! What a shame! Oh, what just happened? All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. 
Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Step forward, sir, with bold heart! No! Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Don't do it! <laughs> There's your aptitude. crystal turn into a weapon? That is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's... She's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless. Anchored to the world, only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. And it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? What is the Aegis? Really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state. A member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Gormothy Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? Hmm. Now, as for you, you look like a driver, too. Registration number? 539? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the Consul has to say about this. Rex, Dromak and I are gonna make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. 
I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem, too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one, aren't you? Gramps says the same thing. OK, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. OK. Just give the word. OK, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two... Oh, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three! They're so strong. Such strength from a measly two fighters. Their drivers are right. Rex, no! You got it. A wall made of fire. Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady, Bridget. Bridget? Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrison, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, she's more than a match for you. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Torna. Please lend me your power to bring them to justice. That emerald core crystal. Could it really be true? Well, Captain Carter, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. Men, bring me your no water! our attack she's so strong mm, and this is without a driver stop yammering just get it jumak this is an ethernet <laughs> let's see you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere even blades have weaknesses this is one such weakness Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of here, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. <laughs> Ricks! Ugh! Damn it! Huh? Ah! Water! No! Ah! Burning sword! Stop! Hyra! Yes! That's right, Rex. Run, and never look back. To pull that off, despite all this water. So, the legends of the ages were real. Thanks. You saved us. But I got to ask, why? No reason. No reason? 
Sorry, that's not true. Truth is, Tor are not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boombiter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way! The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for... See, Padraig, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Doodle, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what colour emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now. So, emeralds are green. Huh. You dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious. How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically I believe that's a tiger rather than a... Silence! Ah. Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. Look, this... this cannot be happening! You live down here. This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? 
Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just showed Taurus respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to... We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. Oh! You talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue! Yeah. Meh meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Oh, man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in 120 years. I'm glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire-using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But Fire not good with water. Other Blade Woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all damp. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? Uh, that... Maybe a little complicated to explain. Go on, then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <sighs> well, um, uh, 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 it... Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure... I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, 
We could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your Grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are His Majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you... Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace! I'll take you to her right away! So, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Torna goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No. I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right. Let's look for friends of Rex Rex. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's routes, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh, you did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago, Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me.
Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all. Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a Nopon. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I hope! Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Ha! Leave that to Tora. Well, then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Make haste. I know, I know. Oh, okay, Artificial Blade. It's wakey wakey that time. That won't do, Tora. What, what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her Artificial Blade. As her creator, the least you can do is Give her a proper name. Oh, um, well... Actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away! Now, wakey, wakey! Tora's very own blade! Oh, Poppy! <gasps> Poppy? 
may I be of service, Master? Oh, 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 oh. wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that! Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings? Uh, this time should be okay. Second time go best. Power on! Master Pond? I... I did it! Taurus, first of peace. World's first artificial blade! Poppy! Whoa! Incredible! That is really quite something. Tora did good, huh? You're impressed? Tora is a very big success? Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before, when she was all... You know. Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um... Grampy Pond. Grampy Pond Susie made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pond's fault. Are you sure, Tora? Yes! Grampy Pond. <clears throat> yes! Rex, let's go rescue Nina and Drover. No time to lose. Anyway, my name Poppy. Poppy try hard to make Master Pond proud. Oh, yeah. That shrew thinks she owns the place. Just because she curries favor with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Banna for a tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her. So, as you wish, sir. Watch and learn, Morag Ladea. <laughs> there is Titan Warship. Hmm. Quite the impressive Titan. Another sign that Morardain is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look. That route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes! We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. Okay. Off we go! Understood. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. Pyra, you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. So heavy. What? What did you say? Huh? Yow! Now look here, Rex. You can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex, Rex, a little tactless. Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... 
Archie heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that just means Hyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Hyra should be proud. Poppy pull Pyra up. Three. Grab again. Nice, Poppy. Poppy artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. Masterpon. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave and air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Let's try opening up some of these doors. hurt anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. It very good! See, Master Pond? There was a blade here. Master Titan. And forgive me, but who are they? Dromark. We don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course. We are in residence, after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed. This way. No doubt about it. That's the place. Who are you people? They're the terrorist friends. We are her friends, but I won't let you call her a terrorist. anyone was coming at all as if we'd leave you always help those who help you that's the second rule of the salvages code well that's you all over ain't it rex rex tora has found escape route hurry hurry and not point he has been of some assistance we made a new friend uh nice to meet you well I think we've overstayed our welcome here. Time to get moving. Ah, not much further to exit. Not so fast, my dear intruders. Letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. Ah, oh, that emerald core crystal. You must be the Aegis! Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Borad was right on the money. You know who Pyra is? Are you trying to capture her too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder, 
Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. Let's go, Hyra. Got it. That coward. He's just hiding behind his blade. What? Does common sense of the you? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. So it's okay to use them as a living shield. You wish so. Even if they can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. <laughs> How cute! The Fleabag thinks we should care about blades' feelings. <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain. How? A mangy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids? I triumphant return to more Arden with the Aegis. Oh. Hmm. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to more Arden. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. These flames again! It's her! And with a driver too this time. That's Morag, the Flamebringer. Morag? Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardane. The most powerful driver in the Empire. And wielder of Bridget. The most powerful blade. So together, they're like... ultra-powerful. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly? Yes. You certainly proved useful. However... Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed? I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon. We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! Then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. Uh, uh, 
Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? You'll never get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. Pyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers. But her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. Uh, those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never... There has to be a way. Some kind of... She's a fire blade. We've got to find... Water. There. Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, there they are. Pyra, can you manage a full-powered blast? Yes. Maybe one or two. That'll do. Take this! Yeah! You're getting predictable, boy. Look who's talking. Puppy, no! Roger, Roger! The water time. So that's their plan. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. 
You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow. But he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm going to help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> oh, Finn. See you later. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. I want to reach Elysium. What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the Titans dying off. Living space is running out. That's gonna start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. <sighs> if I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But fighting more, I've taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really use a companion like you, if you wanted. Elysium, do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well, Pyra told me that she was born there. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex, I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyrus just lie in? What if this is all an act, and one day she turns round and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. So... serious. She... <laughs> <laughs> an emerald core crystal is the sign of the Aegis, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, eh? If the legends are true, even people like me... Sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this and it doesn't even... I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra, you're hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. 
Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs> So beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess that's probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just um really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do.